was the pie guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, the Google 2FA for the uh, Raspberry Pi. Now you'll need to download the uh, Google uh, two-factor uh, app for iOS or uh, Android to uh, make this happen. So first thing we'll want to do is we'll do a sudo update. <clears throat> now once this is done we can go ahead and uh, get into the SSH uh, config file and where you just need to make a setting in there, change a setting. So once this is done, we can get in here and make the change to the file. And we are going to scroll down here and we need to find the file that we want and we're going to change this to yes so once we're done with that we could just do a control X Y and enter if you're using nano after that we can go ahead and we can just restart the uh, SSH here restart SSH all right, now that that's done, we can go ahead and install. Let me just clear it. Install the following here. <clears throat> I'll throw a link in the description to my website for all this information, so you don't have to try to type this out on the screen. All right, so once this is installed, which I already have it installed, we can go ahead and run the following command. Now this is going to bring up a um, a barcode. So we'll just say yes. Now you might have to obviously readjust your terminal window. Um, and another thing is you may want to write these numbers down for your now yours will be different But you may want to write these down Just for a backup Now we could either scan this barcode or we could type in this the key. It's uh, Whatever you prefer to do so uh, What you'll what you want to do is pull up your Google app that we downloaded and I'll try to uh, do another uh, video of this. So we can go ahead and put in our key. So let me go ahead and we'll just type this guy in. All right, so we have the uh, app up here. So what we can do is we can just scan this guy and as you can see, it added it, and uh, there we go. So, pretty straightforward. Now, like I said, if it don't work, if you're having troubles, you might have to adjust your uh, terminal size window. Uh, but uh, you can always just hand type this uh, your secret key in. But, uh, like I said, I'm just making this for, doing this for the purpose of the video. I might start using this. I think it's going to be pretty nice. But uh, this code here and stuff is going to get uh, trashed. So, along with the other one. So, anyway, hopefully that helped out. Back to uh, finishing this up.
Okay, so I'm back. Now it says if you want to upgrade your home folder, uh, we'll just say yes. It's here at the bottom of my screen. Now it says this restricts you to a one-time login every 30 seconds, but it increases your chances to notice or even prevent a man in the middle attack. We'll just say yes. By default, this new you can read it you could set this up however you'd like so we'll just say yes then however you feel like answering the following questions so once that's done what we can do now is we need to edit another file here so we'll just do a sudo nano All right, so now that we're in the following uh, file here, we need to add a couple lines. So we're going to go right below this guy here. We'll just hit enter, enter again, and we are going to type the following. And like I said, I, I'm going to have a link so you guys don't have to uh, try to type all this crap in. So, all right, so once we have that typed in, we could just do another control X, Y, and enter, and we can just reboot the pie. And uh, we'll give us a minute. So now, when we log in, we should be able to log in with our normal uh, username and password for the Pi, whatever you have that set at. But we all are, we need to also put in the, uh, the Google code if everything works. All right, so now it's going to ask us for the code. So we have it the other way. So I put the code in, and there we go. We're logged in. So you don't need to uh, use your uh, username and password. So hopefully this helps out, and uh, thanks for watching.